Whoa, welcome back to Hat Chat, the podcast, episode mm. 85, with your hosts, I'm Chris Trott. Hi, Chris Trott. My name is Ross Hornby. I'm also a host. <laughs> it's me, Al Smithy, Alex Smith, coming to you in your ears. How's everyone doing today? Very good. Okay, yeah. Not Average. Too, not too bad, but... Episode well, Trot... 85, and tomorrow's Chris Trot's birthday. It is, yeah. yeah Trot's birthday tomorrow. You feeling? You feel older? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be weird if I didn't, yeah. I guess. Yeah. The yeah. passage of time continues. Yeah, Tick, I mean. Talk. It becomes less relevant, like the age number specifically as you get older. Mm. It's just more of a bracket, yeah. a demographic. It's like, am I in it the is. old demographic yet, or am I in the current, like, like which one is the one that has a vulnerable immune system? Is that the one I need to worry about? <laughs> um, That's I've got, terrible. I've got 30 more years. <laughs> what? I mean, like, you're right, but it's also just like, <laughs> you only care because you're, like, getting into it. Like, oh, hold on. Wait a minute, I need to remember which one I need to... Do I need to care yet? Oh, no, no, I don't need to care yet. Do I need no. to ask a doctor to stick his finger at my bum yet? Oh, he should be doing that specifics? anyway. Just for fun. What, sorry? Just doing it for fun. You should really be just popping fingers up in, in your bottom every day. Yeah, I tend to be able to feel it with my tongue. Wow, you can get down there with your tongue. That's amazing flexibility. Thank you. Is well, your tongue just really long, or are you extremely flexible? I've got a tongue like a giraffe. Wow. Have you seen them they strip have, leaves? have you yeah. seen them strip branches of leaves? <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty nice. I have seen that before. Do they have like um like really rough tongues as well, right? I don't know. I Maybe. Maybe yeah. do I'd tongues. say yeah. How fed do giraffes they have before? Yeah. Oh, so you should know you're an expert. Well, I didn't touch the tongue. It looked quite dry though. Did you kiss it? <laughs> Touching is kissing. Oh, so no. Man. Touching okay. is kissing. <laughs> What, what is? on earth are you saying? Well, you said, did you touch it? I said, no. Did you kiss it? I say touching is kissing. Oh, right. I was oh, just okay. imagining... I said yes to touching it. I didn't realize. I just was imagining you like putting your hand on its nose and being like, we've kissed now. Like, we've touched, we've kissed. <laughs> and Gerald, to your mind. I kissed oh, with oh, my oh, fingers. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, we are one. Right. Today, we've got some weird, I'm not going to lie to you. Weird hypotheticals suggested oh, to us oh, by no. our Patreon supporters. Patreon.com yeah. slash hatfilms. You might get a kick out of it today. You might, but it's, it's silly. <laughs> the silly ones. So if you would like to read the most voted one by our patrons today, that would be great. Mm. Um, Patreon number one is you have a baby and a microwave. For every second you turn the microwave on with the baby in it, you get a million dollars. How many seconds would you microwave the baby? <laughs> <laughs> now this presumes that you care about the baby uh, uh, so we're gonna well hang on a... what about so if you didn't care about the baby you'd receive... microwave a baby is what you're saying yes i'd just go <laughs> okay. full whole hog if it was like All baby right. hitler you'd you'd put that thing up on three minutes 900 watts wouldn't you you'd yeah. bake that potato i'd go 600 600 minutes merciless or you merciless bastard. 600 watts, 600 watts. Yeah. it's baby um, hitler guys i think Come that on. um I think that there's a lot of parameters. There's a lot of things that need to happen for this to be okay. Um, right. One is is anyone else with you, and who's offering this money to you? Because that that's the fact. The factor is who's giving you the money. Who's you have, watching? You had a crackly a phone call. Of... Anonymous, like it's definitely a pitch down voice. It's crackly right. and it's on landline, which is weird because you didn't realize you had one in your home, but mm. it rung with like the old school like bell ringtone you pick it's it up and it's like of, of billionaires you know yeah it is it's a they're toying with you they're toying with you um they've got a, I, a, I, I line. Sec a second I, I google how many seconds a human could tolerate a uh, microwave right because and then i'd hack your computer and make it present a page that i made so it's just like ages <laughs> mate Loads it's of good for a baby actually a good hour is fine get a good dose oh, of radioactive weight oh, um, just wrap it in tinfoil um i think there's metal in there if you're even considering it yeah you're crazy yeah. and <laughs> you should have serious uh you know reflective thoughts i mean the point of this is to consider this idea if we just gonna... 
again, this is why I'm 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 Google I'm googling. Can you? How long can you with withstand that? Is that in I would private? Do it for, uh, private oh, tab, yeah, of course. Yeah, private <laughs> tab. Uh, uh, NordVPN on. Um, I would just want to make sure that it's it's not damaging in any way. Uh, just so that there's no because if if I could do it for like for free in terms of not damaging mm-hmm. the baby, maybe for like if it's like oh you probably just withstand. A good minute. I'll be like, all right, two seconds. <laughs> I don't think that's you need mil. to Google Done. it, Ross. Have and you then, seen how then, many warning labels are on microwaves? Nah, <laughs> there's not you many. You can definitely mi- you can microwave really a enough. person for a small amount of time. How many <laughs> microwaves? They don't put metal in them on the front. Hmm? Have you seen no, a microwave? My microwave, microwave don't put I can put it? metal in mine. Mine doesn't have a, have a spinning plate. It just has like a box. It's different technology. It's, it's actually really annoying because there's oh. those microwave popcorn bags, like. Yeah. They have to be rotated, it turns out. So if you don't have a rotating base microwave, you, you can't cook that popcorn, which devastated me. Um, and But no, I could put metal spoons in hot drinks because um, it helps to um, sort of radiate the heat through the liquid. Um, Conduct it. Yeah. I know. Crazy, right? But um, no, I reckon a person could survive. If I was going to put my child in a microwave... <laughs> yeah. Hmm, how... Give us a number. I think just a second. One second. Okay, one second. Yeah, so that's, that's what I was million. thinking. One, that's what yeah. I think because I was thinking one second you can probably go, oh shit, I just realized I put the baby in the the baby just crawled in, the door shut, and it went for a second. Mm. It's a lot wow. easier though. That's a narrative. It's However, hard to will... do a second. It's hard to do just one second. Do you want to say if you're being efficient? <laughs> no, well, Maybe yeah, I guess you could just stop it, but also you could just hit the thirty seconds and that's that's thirty mil, isn't it, really? I'll tell you something here. It's I, the I default. Googled I've Googled it, guys. You've Googled, Googled it. it. Okay. So one baby survived, mm. though with severe burns. This this has happened. Uh, this is like a Russian website. So I don't know. Um, <laughs> extreme burns, 10 to 20 seconds. Right, Two well, minutes will be death. So you got ages. Well, more than 20 seconds is... is what potential. other damage so, is there? Because microwaves penetrate... Yeah, this was severe burns. So this is all this says. Severe burns, um, and they're fine now. But yeah, that's uh, the fact that that's even been a thing is actually fucking horrifying. Yeah, because mm. uh, this is yeah, obviously it is. a theoretical idea. However, we have an answer, and I'm actually just not going to do it. I'm going to do what? I'm not. I'm not putting the baby in. The conversion okay. rate for dollars to pounds now as well. Think about it. Like, what are you really making? Like, yeah, but like, it literally mm-hmm. putting. A baby in the oven <laughs> in the wrong yeah. way. But you're getting so much money out of it. And well, you know what happens? Sure. Babies literally grow on trees. You can just make another one. Trees. You can just they make an- trees, an- babies are infinite. Need, sorry, we need another dis- uh, the hypothetical. Where do babies come from? Chris Trot edition. Well so they grow, don't so they, at the ground. They do grow. They don't grow on the ground like a fucking root vegetable. <laughs> well I a cabbage did. patch doll. Trot grow out of the ground like a potato, what are you talking about? Like a potato. Yeah, he's, he's born. Running. What will we call him? Trot. Trot. Well, that's, that's, uh, no, we hey. can't call him that. What will we call him around people? Christopher. Then he trips. He says, "Christ." He needs a. Call him Chris. <laughs> needs a first name. Yeah, you just see a potato just just wiggling weirdly in the crop field, it's and it's like that's weird. And then suddenly the eyes open on the like right. potato skin, and you see my eyes, my <laughs> mud <laughs> eyes, looking back. back. <laughs> and that's how I was oh, born. Jesus, Amazing. like one of those what really fucking weird, like Victorian style children's shows. You know, like like the, you you are like the Samiad coming out of the ground. Yeah. You know, like a the... really horrible Muppet. And then right next to you, but we didn't come out of the ground for a few more years, was Craig's head, another little potato. <laughs> Craig. Craig's little oh, potato Craig. head pops he came out of the ground. A few years later, oh. but he was in the same crop field. Oh guys. Oh guys. That's a beautiful moment. That's a dark story I found. I can't believe that that was real. That was in 2012 as well. Th- apparently there are three recorded cases of this happening in real life. Well, people getting microwaved. And babies being microwaved, yeah. Specifically babies. This being in this scenario, they they did it for two minutes. You can't fit died. much more than a baby uh, in a microwave. Oh, God, imagine so, finding a baby dead in your microwave. I don't think we sh- yeah, we don't need to do oh, that. But basically heavy, after reading that, uh, I felt an immediate <laughs> sense of of uh, the reality that of the i would situation. even consider putting anything living 
Well, it'd just uh, be a nightmare to clean your microwave. microwave afterwards, and you'd be like, oh, it's a bloody mess. The next, time I, next time I go to microwave my soup, look at that. Ah, still bits a of baby in here. Oh, <laughs> I've had the white baby off the roof of my microwave again. That's this grim. all tastes like baby. <laughs> For weeks <laughs> now. Why, baby? <laughs> uh, no, but um, yeah, three, three times that's happened. That's fucked up. That's pretty messed so up. No more. All right, Stop fine. It. I won't do Stop it. Stop it. Not even for a million for a second. No. Fine. I mean, I think yeah, it's 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 a it's a no go. And I don't know where that's happening because I don't know who's uh, the adjudicator saying, okay, that's one second, one clean second, brilliant. Take the baby out. That's one one million for you. So, uh, the police are on their way. Like when? Like, will you be arrested for that as a crime? What for micro? From my the baby and then gaining a million dollars suddenly. They go, Oh, there's a strange yeah. thing in your bank account. You've received a million dollars and say, What happened that day? Oh, I microwaved the baby for a second. <laughs> you're a criminal. In ma in You'd admit many ways, that. probably. <laughs> straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you're, you're straight away. You're at the bank. You're like, Why is it where's this come from? Well, have you ever tried microwaving a baby? <laughs> like, well, no, I haven't tried. Also, where's the baby? local Robert Dice? Because I've got an appliance to return. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a standard microwave to uh, re refund. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, we can move on. Any parameters? I'm saying no. no Ross is saying no. Thank you, us. Ross. Just because taking... it makes us look better, but on the sly, let's all microwave babies. Yeah, we're going to tell our audience that, nah, of course you wouldn't microwave yeah. a baby, but I reckon good 19 seconds, yeah. safe bet. Oh, 19? <laughs> fuck me. Jesus Christ. 20 was their top end. Safe bet. Um, Are we yeah, going to get that thing you'll like? You'll see us in the next hatch. Misinformation with like diamond warning. <laughs> uh, maybe, yeah. Well, yeah gonna happen. Does that apply to jokes as well? I guess it should. Don't Just microwave a baby. Simple. The populace is getting dumber as we speak. So. True. That's true. Everything maybe that warning there nowadays. for a reason. It was a joke, but we are joking. Don't do it. Please don't microwave anything living. It's horrible. Anyway, second hypothetical. Mm. Um, what is it? Oh, go, go on, Ross. You say uh, one. I'll read it. Yeah, sure. Uh, Patreon, thank you very much for this. Um, if you could have one hour of honest conversation with anyone, who would you choose to talk to, and what would you ask them? So there's a Russian guy uh, that I'd have an honest hour conversation with. Like, <laughs> why did you microwave that baby? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if you want to spend any time with those type of people. They, there's clearly a, no. there's something wrong. <laughs> no. I don't know. Um, um, an honest oh, conversation. I'd probably pick someone that... Smith will pick someone that knows about alien stuff. Like an ex-president. Yeah, I'd, I'd say one of the two premiers of either China or Russia uh, is probably a good shout for that because the thing is about America is I don't know whether necessarily, um, and in the UK as well with the prime ministers and, uh, presidents, of those two countries, I don't know whether they necessarily get told everything. I think that because of the nature of like democratically changing leaders, that certain things are generally withheld until needed to know. Um, yeah, but with, I, with a yeah. more, I mean, to be honest, I think the leader of, um, China is elected by the party, um, and Putin as well, obviously, has to keep people happy. But I imagine that when you have these more autocratic societies, the breadth of information available to them is probably wider. So I would, it, I, yeah. yeah, I'd probably be interested to hear what exactly they're they're thinking about over the next few years. Putin would be interesting in general. It would be interesting, yeah. Not mm -hmm. not for obviously. So not he has to tell the truth. This is a lie, lie situation. Yeah, it, he has to be honest for an hour. Mm. So you could mm -hmm. literally get. A lot of information out of Vladimir yeah. Putin. Um, mm. Do you feel like, there's a flaw in Liar Liar? Have you, have you seen the film Liar Liar with yeah. Jim Carrey? Yeah. Do you feel there's any flaws in the sense that, like, he doesn't have to lie, but he doesn't have to speak? It's yeah. The same with yeah. Invention of Lying by Ricky Gervais. Yeah. Like, everyone's just verbal diarrheaing all their truths. Yeah. yeah I'm yeah. not saying that's that. an entertaining way to do it. I'm just saying that that's like. He's there's points where he just has to tell the truth and he just blurts everything out and it's just like well yeah but like just just no is that yeah, uh, yeah maybe yeah. that's part of the line maybe that's oh you need to be truthful therefore your honesty is I'm going to tell them but 
I mean, you're right, yeah, but I guess without this without nobody's worked like. nobody's worked out how to make an engaging story or film um without that caveat of yes, yeah. why is the, why is everyone blurting out all the shit that they but I mean they are both kind of garbage films as well. Like um uh, I think Lila is all right as a comedy. Lila it's a throwaway only comedy okay because it's Jim Carrey's performance, I think, which yeah. you know Whereas he's... I actually thought Invention Line was awful. It's yeah, I, awful. I thought so as well. It's really yeah, bad. <laughs> Yeah. It's just uh, another way you could just have another swing at religion and I think that's fine, sure, but it's just yeah. done in a, such a kind of poor way, I thought. And also just Jennifer Garner's character was terrible. I don't remember. Again, it was a case, it was the same case of do you have to say those horrible things? Yeah, or, yeah. So because you don't lie, you just say horrible shits to people all the time. Yeah, apparently Is that so. acceptable? So, so manners are out the window mm -hmm. because you can't lie. Yeah, it's, it's pretty terrible flawed. Film. Don't recommend it. Don't recommend it. Um, I reckon you anyway, can exploit this you. question yeah, go on. Okay. quite heavily because you could be like an hour of honest conversation could be someone dead, could be a yeah, deity, could be the owner of the simulation rule in. So you could be like, I want to ask the person that's created our reality. Uh, I want to speak with them for an hour. And that would both a confirm we're in a simulation. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that would and appear, if, like, the, if it doesn't connect with anybody, well, they were not in the simulation. So it's like two birds with one stone. And then if I, I guess... do get through to someone that created the reality or whatever entity it is, mm. I can then figure out like what the hell is going. Why? Why did you do that? Why? <laughs> Why have you created? I mean, this it's reality? a very clever way of doing oh, it. I, but I life. do think that you know you'd have to put the caveat of you have to name the person that you're going to do this to like just saying like whatever has done this is a bit too op in my opinion but it's a clever way of doing it it's a good way of doing it if that is the the rules um how about so you Ross, what would you do? Do? Uh, well yeah. i'm just trying to think of what you'd achieve from speaking to people like putin and stuff because all the i mean what answers are we hoping to get from them in their honesty the, the the biggest the, oh i'm not you know i'm just you know starting to slowly take over country by country as the years go on i'm going to try and take over everything mm -hmm. that's is that what i want to hear do well, i care I mean, not just that i'm also thinking that like the higher water? up you go in the food chain of uh, um government of the hierarchy of society if you want to call it that um you know like i, I don't want to sound too like Bleh. but um yeah, like the higher you go up, the more information is available to those people. So for me, they're just an information source. It's not that I particularly care about like you're not trying to change things, the world. I just want an yeah, I'm, interesting I'm, conversation. Yeah, uh, I'm looking for oh, the okay. same reason that people like speaking to presidents. That people would yeah. much rather listen to you know a person that's done something that's affected a lot of people versus a toddler. You know, it's just a it's a that's all I thought. But I mean, equally, you know, I'd love to speak to. Einstein, I'd love to speak to Darwin, I'd love to speak to David Attenborough, yeah. you know. Yeah. That's um, good. Like there are all sorts of scientists that I would love to talk to in a candid way, but yeah, would I extract anything because they had to be honest? I don't think so. I'd find out whether Carol Baskin was lying, you know. Where's your goddamn Baskin? She Carol? fed a Carol Baskin. She fed a she fed it to season 3. <clears throat> gets made because of that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I mean, yeah, I guess you if you're looking for someone who you definitely need to get the truth out of, you would be seeking you know people who've lied a lot publicly or mm -hmm. lied to you personally, uh, just to eke that out of them. Or you know, because I mean, my first instinct is to go to someone like you know Trump, where like mm -hmm. there were lies left, right, and center. And you want to kind of almost find out like what what was that all for? Mm -hmm. Was it what do you gain from that? And obviously, we can yeah, see yeah. how there is uh, you know pluses and minuses to his career for those things but i don't think i'd get much out of him by saying that so maybe it wouldn't be as entertaining uh i'd love to have a conversation with robin williams mm -hmm. sounds like he'd, he'd be, be an interesting be person now. to speak to regardless of the honesty element um but yeah i don't know really god it's, it's difficult because i think i i'm leaning more towards just yeah politicians and people in power who have all this power over an entire like um country and like what mm -hmm. their motivations are like right exactly. now in our you yeah. know, in uk like, that mindset we've got a lot of shit going on in our government um and it'd be nice to know the truth behind a lot of this stuff to see but where why is it all, all worth it chaos is, yeah what, what's all happening here yeah definitely. i'd quite like to speak but to whether it would please me or not i don't know l ron hubbard oh yeah <laughs> the creator of scientology yeah uh yeah it's like, why? Why are you doing this, you crazy sod? Um, 
uh, or Tom Cruise. <laughs> Tom That'd Cruise, be interesting because yeah. he's like at the top of Scientology. Like, what are you, what are you really, do you like really believe in, in this? Yeah, and this are you it. just yeah. in it for monetary gain? What other secrets can you expose from all the, um, what are they called when they hold the rods and you get all their blackmail oh, out of them? I don't know. Oh, that's um, doing a reading, isn't it? Like, yeah, um, it's, it's got a, a word. It, it? Oh, begins with uh, a. Uh, uh, either way, uh, he would know all the dirty secrets of everyone to keep them in Scientology so they don't expose yeah. truths. There would be so much shit in Scientology of like finding out <laughs> stuff yeah. about people. Um, it would be yeah, uh, definitely. Auditing, and also just like just uh, or even even like people who are like devoutly religious and stuff. I guess finding out if if they truly believe or if it's like a televangelist. Like yeah, like people who were literally like flying in on their jets that are paid for by yeah. you know, their their sheeple. It's just like, do you? I mean, but then again, like like I said, are you gonna be happy with the answer? Because the answer is probably just like, no, I am fucking loading these pe people over and I'm having a great life because of it. So it's like, oh, yeah. nice. The truth sucks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, very much so. I imagine it's just there'd be everything over that. To, exactly. Yeah. The thing is, like, the scary thing is in the current climate that I think we're in was. Mm -hmm. Would, it wouldn't have as much of an effect as we think it would either. Like, no. even if that person is on camera saying, I'm mm -hmm. swindling all these people, he could mm. literally just create another piece using his money and his power to be to rekindle his image. Or yeah. everyone just goes to another one where it's like, he wasn't a man of God, but I am. I, I'm not, like, yeah. the devil in disguise. I am the truth versus this guy who was clearly the D Judas or whatever. Um mm -hmm. I th I feel like I'm worried that it's, it wouldn't destroy televangelists as a whole. It would just mm. offset it slightly because <laughs> people want to believe what yeah. they want to believe in. They yeah, will. yeah. I mean, well, it's yeah. easier again. We've seen examples in politics as well where they've said openly terrible things and people have cheered that on and said, "I, I admire their honesty, even though it's fucking me over in the long term." It's like, <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, it's not always pleasing to to know the truth in that sense. Um, but yeah, maybe what about animals? Talking to your animals, you know? <laughs> You just might talk to your animals. Oh, well, yeah. no, I just don't know if that's we can throw that into the this unlocks into the, the language an potential hour of discussion with your pet, and we go, oh, which, which food did you actually like? Because you've been a bit fussy about this one, and you didn't really <laughs> make it clear. You left it for a bit, but then you ate it. So well, I've just sure spent if... thirty-five quid on a sack yeah. of it. Um... Look, help me, help you. I'd be terrified <laughs> of learning some horrible truths about my dog. Yeah. Like, I don't love you. I'm here for your food I'm and your comfort. And I'd easily you. drop you for someone else that gives me more food than you. Um, <laughs> also, in my face, in my face, <laughs> I'd hate I to hate learn. It. Yeah, it's like, you're disgusting, actually, and you stink. And um, I hate it when you touch me. <laughs> so I'm yeah. worried. I'm worried about all these things. Yeah. It's like, I no, tolerate I it because I get food. Gooch. That sounds all like, smell gooch sound like a cat more humans. than a dog. <laughs> but, um, but you don't know. You the final thing I'd like to do, if I can do this crazy exploit and talk to general people and not be specific, I'd like to speak to a previous leader of the previous civilization before humanity. Okay. That's lost to time. That's okay. Been lost there has no trace of it. Of, there is no record. Yeah. The civilization okay. that grew we'll to, to prosperity. Find out more about history. No, the, the you know the one that got super advanced and then there's no trace of them anymore. The ancient Mesopotamians, is that who you're thinking of? No, no, like they had quantum computers and stuff. I had a dream about it. It's a dream. Oh, <laughs> just tying on to the other dream, or? Well, it's, yeah, well, it's there's still a space, right, for an entire civilization to have lived and died and left no no trace. In the mm -hmm. the scale of the Earth's existence, even I before they would leave no trace, though, as well. Like, as in, like, there's a, like, enough time for so much time has passed, and so there is, yeah, there's no footprint, so to speak, of because of the amount of Although gravity and pressure time, applying yeah. to rocks and uh, coal and stuff. There wouldn't even be fossils. It would just get to the point where even those have eroded away. Everything breaks down. Pr Okay. Land before time. Exactly. We find a we find a whole civilization inside the core of the earth. 
Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so imagine if Weird. you just. Oh fuck! Wait, that worked. I can... I'm speaking to an ancient civilization that is warning me of like. <laughs> That we had such advanced technology, but we just couldn't unite together as a people, and we destroyed ourselves in the exact same way we're about to, <laughs> with all these like climate crisis shit and uh, nuclear war and stuff. Can you imagine? Exactly. Where do you think oil comes from? It's just we get it from their old petrol stations underground. Uh, there you go. We, we, <laughs> Smith's we getting it. It's <laughs> broken down Essos in there. Yeah, we found another one. Yes. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay, man. apparently a TikTok person is saying that we are going to discover a new civilization this year. So, fingers crossed for that one. Um, nice. TikTokers, I mean... The fact that you said a TikTok person wrong. really nailed that one in the cock. Sorry, That's TikToker. A, a TikToker, <laughs> but it's just the fact that, yeah, like, what does that mean? Are they a scientist? Uh, yeah, they got the tick and everything. Are they everything. just a theorist? <laughs> they got the tick. Okay, they got the tick for the TikToks. That's fair enough. There's a lot of doctors um, on TikTok that give some oh, of course wide are. Oh, array good. of information that is all conflicting. Um, and then they they also duet with each other, flaming the other person, saying like, what this guy's talking absolute bullshit. What you actually need to do is start eating broccoli on an hourly basis because <laughs> that <laughs> disrupts basis. the metabolism. Yeah, and all that kind of bullshit. So, yeah. Um, but an advanced civilization that existed before us, that's who I'd like to talk to, please. If not, the maker of wow. our simulation. Thank you. Okay. Well, there we go. So, and then someone just says, okay, maker of the simulation, if you're out there, appear for us for this urgent conversation for one hour with Chris Trot. He has, it's Chris Trot's question time. Take yeah, I'd down. like an hour of Chris honest conversation. Oh, please. Question time. Are we a joke oh, to you? Are we just your plaything? Are we just an experiment? Or have you harnessed our energy source and you've put us in the matrix because we are juicy and tasty uh, to battery yeah. power your robot advanced we species? Is that what's going on here? Come on. Yeah. Please don't Come say dead, my entire a... life is just a joke. More know. so than normal. <laughs> we are the ants on the rotting fruit. Yeah. Waiting to die. Oh, wow. Jesus have you ever Christ. seen? Um, <laughs> keep it light. Let's 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 Oh yeah, where, where they, they get they, stuck. They follow each other. Yeah. They start following each other in a big circle until they fatigue and then die. Yeah, because they they so lost they, their so way. You, they lost their way, so they're all following the last person. But they just create a loop and just follow each other and follow each other. There's a big three of them. And then they all start fatiguing and just kind of like falling over themselves. And Sad. it's just like, wow, like that's, that's AI pathing bugged out. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just like, I, I saw that the other day. I was like, wow, this, bugged is, out. this is amazing. Nice. Bugged out. Yeah. Like, sorry. And, uh, <laughs> Thank give you. Give that a bit of air time. Give that a bit more time. Yeah. Cheers. No, <laughs> just don't let that yeah, stew. Yeah, bugged out. <laughs> yeah, it's good. But I thought that was uh, impressive that I've only never heard that before, but it's quite impressive. Yeah. I, I saw that. In a that. negative way, sure. Yeah. Uh, it's like a, the paradoxes of like the human brain, the flaws in the human brain, where there's like a hole in your optics and stuff like that, where it's just flaws that need to be patched out. Like ants can accidentally get stuck in a death loop because they don't have the right hormone or something to like lead them home. Yeah, yeah uh, the pheromones, pheromones trail. Yeah. yeah. It's nuts. We need a big Fast. update. Earth could... Do well, with we've a big watched patch. a documentary about ants. That's why that's, we. Yeah. That's why we know so much about ants. Exactly. We true. keep watching them. That's the thing. Then we go yeah, on you, bar. you never finish it though, do you? There's always no, the, we get to the, the big conclusion. We're like, should we, should we start from when we left off? Nah, start again. Start again. Start. Start. We know uh, where this the, is leading. Make sure the bath is running. For God's sake. <laughs> I'm already up there. Don't worry. I'm already keeping it warm. Uh, very specific reference there. Well, I think we've gone far past our halfway point uh, with the hypotheticals, yeah. but now yeah. is time, uh, almost 30 minutes in, for our little ad yeah. break. There it is. Um, welcome back. There if you were a patron supporter, of course, you would get the ad-free version, or maybe you were just lucked yeah. out and you didn't get an injected ad there. So Maybe they chose to listen to it on a platform where the ads were on there. That's, that's, that's on you, that's not on nice. us. You yeah. had the option, you chose this, so we'll sorry. Get something for that pittance but better than nothing eh um better <laughs> patron support though 
Huh? Yeah, his Patreon is, uh, oh. is great. It has really it's hoisted the podcast up to where it is today, which is actually much more consistent than it's ever been. Yes, weekly. Um, which is um, pretty good. And let's treat you all now to some mm. funny news this week because funny it's been a while news. since we've really taken some time with it. It has. Um, and there's, there is some funny news. There was some funny news sent to me by Snalty. Um mm. Let's see what that was here. It's I think it's a reference to the Masked Singer. Have you seen the Masked Singer? You aware? Of I know the of the singer? show. No, I do, I do know what this is about though. Yeah. This is about the Rudy Giuliani thing, right? Yeah. The fact that well, they even asked him to be on it is actually sickening. I know it's not funny. It's actually fucking stupid that they've asked this so, guy. Can I have some context on this? What's happening? The Rudy so, Giuliani. So the mask, do you know what the Mask Singer is? Yeah, you have a mask celebrity is like and a one of mask. those awful fucking <clears throat> panel shows where you have four celebrity judges and they try and work out who is singing under this huge caricature animal mascot style suit. And what's happened is Rudy Giuliani's on the latest season right and um they didn't know who it was apparently and then he reveals himself and like they're like oh my god it's Rudy Giuliani and two of the people and the judges like walk out but then they come back um you know it I mean yes it's bizarre but I was thinking about this Ross basically you're abhorred because it's like this guy is a currently being investigated criminally I think yeah b is basically half responsible for being the sort of lunatic um sideshow of a group of people that Trump have done more to harm american democracies you know <laughs> in living memory than anybody else um so he's, he's a complete you know massively divisive character but the thing is i don't think anybody who watches the masked singer would care about the context of rudy giuliani i think that all the people that were be, would be outraged about it are people that probably wouldn't watch this show so it's sort of a I can imagine. I can see why they've done that's it. Al- that's almost more annoying, though, isn't it? Well, yeah, you know but I mean? then that's it's just like awareness that's... of these people in, in these in the sphere that's mm. fucking up your country and uh, trickles down to your livelihood eventually. Um, yeah, yeah, but... it's nuts that these people are being celebrated to yeah. to a point where they're sh- mm. starring in a show, and it's just like that's fucked also, up. So there's me. a part of me so, that I thinks mean... that everyone was in on it and they staged the whole walk off, and yeah. th- they knew that this would saw through the ratings and that there would be notorious Mm -hmm. articles written about it we're talking about well that's why they would have chosen him in the first place right because they knew that it would be controversial it would be like oh look we've got this guy who's you know oh he's his um is it his hair dye Mm. yeah yeah there was a joke on a always sunny about it recently actually yeah yeah it's just disappointing more than anything i'm just a disappointed father here yeah (laughs) I i mean there's still people within the production of that show that just yeah that don't give a fuck i mean we just all need to know this i mean just don't watch the show like you you need to appreciate that yeah there are people within the production and casting of that show who literally don't care what donald trump or any of those other people did um entertainment figures in their eyes yeah yeah they they just don't care oh this sounds a shit ton of money let's do it again millions of people that think like that like this is Again, we're in we're in an echo chamber and a microcosm of people that feel as though we are politically aware that we want the best for the world, we want the best for our countries, we want the best for the people in it. That's how we feel, and those things are important to us. But there is gigantic swathes of of people around us that do not think like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I guess you just got to always just don't be surprised anymore. I suppose <laughs> it's just be surprised, yeah. mad. Just try and live your best life, um, and and because. Jesus, you're fucked. Yeah, I mean, you are fucked. Like, yeah, we we, we really are. Like, I said this to my mum the other day, what we were talking about. I try, I'm try. i trying to be a lot more positive about the world because I kind of got to the stage of of my mindset about every, of the world. It's just like, it's overwhelmingly um, negative. And um, I was just like, well, what the hell are you going to do about it? Like, what, what in, in you and in yourself, are you just going to live the remainder of your natural life hating things or being angry about things around you um because i can't you can't change you can't change it sorry um you you can't change a lot of things that you see every day and you really only have control over yourself and the way that you you are and the way you process things and i mean it but it is ultimately yeah fucking depressing 
Um, but then so is climate change. So is um, the political fortunes of our country. The, so is the fact that our own country is just getting fucking ravaged by a group of, of, of um, greedy psycho toffs. Um, but like, you know, we're just going to try and stay happy, stay positive, try and be good, try and act good yourself, do good if you can. Um, and just hope that we all pull through it through a collective, um, you know, consciousness, I hope. Um, it's, it's all you can really do. But um, yeah, it's a crazy old time. Uh, and one and way just... you can do such a thing is to get one of the new builder bears <laughs> just launched. I'm for you to get there, for yeah. If you're if you're looking for a horny teddy bear, <laughs> I was looking yeah. in the article. I'm like, let's get this in there somehow. <laughs> nice one. The builder bear just launched an after dark series of horny teddy bears. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to find a way to bring it back around. And, um, yeah, that's good. That was a good segue. Uh, Thank you. It's, I mean, I'm just trying to imagine a situation where you'd want a horny builder bear. Like, as in like sometimes just when I'm in bed and I'm maybe, just like, yeah. fuck, I wish I had a... Oh, right. So it's just literally to be like, we made you a sexy builder bear. I think that's it. That's literally I was it. thinking like about why would Valentine's I want to buy a builder bear. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, it's more just timing for Valentine's yeah. Day, isn't it? It's, it's, you know, here's a little horny little bear that's, you know, Look dressed up horny like a fuck. Fucking it's bear. Like, fair enough. That fucking bear looks. Do you like an sexy. erection attached to your bear? Um, well, oh dear God, is that an option? Erect nipples. You well, you could, it's your bear to build. So. Your bear. You could even put a, <laughs> a, a channel or opening, if you will, within the bear. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've put three <laughs> vibrators inside bear's body and then built in a funnel inside him. And I just, I squeeze his hand and he starts to vibrate. And then I just fucking build a bear. Horny edition. So yeah, you teamed you... up with the lovely people at uh, Flashlight. Flashlight to make this, <laughs> and it's got like those like stress ball eyes on it. So every time you, you, oh. you fucking, its eyes bulge, <laughs> squeeze out of the socket. Holy shit! Well, if you're running out of <laughs> ideas for Valentine's Bang a bear. Day, nice. there you go, know, Bang a nice. bear, perfect. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, there's not, I mean, I need well, more funny news. We need more funny news in general. Because, I mean, the stuff we've got is okay, uh, I guess. But it's, 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 it's borderline not funny. It's more just like... It's a lot of drowning and uh, people weird. being... Well, yeah, the that's Alabama the thing. man keeping meth-fueled attack squirrel um, is, Sounds is pretty funny. good. I read a little bit about it after oh. I bashed my way through the website, trying to get okay. to the thing I wanted to read. The meat. But uh, basically, a guy is being prosecuted because... It, people have complained that he has a, uh, a very aggressive attack squirrel that he sets on people when they come onto his property, and he's made it more aggressive by occasionally feeding it methamphetamine. Um, so, it's animal abuse, <laughs> straight up. It's animal <laughs> abuse. Animal abuse. Poor, <laughs> poor squirrel, uh, poor. for a start. But like, I mean, that's insane, isn't it? You, you, I was reading about meth <laughs> yesterday oh, yeah. oh, and about just how. Reading. Nice. He was Just taking reading. it at the same time. Like, well, should no, I be taking I, this? I, Let's have a little Google. Oh, I God. Want, I want to be a responsible meth user. All right, <laughs> and how do I do that? So I've got my pipe. So I'm there like with a YouTube How video. do I just dabble? Like, do I have to sit on a doorstep? Um, or? But no, it, it, it apparently isn't very fun. Um, it, it's because it's just meth. like a super stimulant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So like it's not even like a high, so to speak. It just makes you really like wired as fuck. Um, right. So I imagine you could give it to a squirrel, and it probably would just make it extremely what agitated. Dosage, though, like to not kill it straight away. I don't know. I'll have to ask the RSPCA. Or this guy. Or who? This guy. This guy's got it down <laughs> to a T. He's the foremost expert on I've got through meth 50 dosage. squirrels, but I've got the right dosage now. <laughs> I've got the dosage nailed. <laughs> it's good it. for getting the chores whoa, 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 whoa. done, apparently. So a bit of meth. And boom, your house is clean in an hour. <laughs> really clean. Astero, I take my meth with ketamine. Makes me really aware, but also super sleepy. It's like the quickest way to like feeling locked in. <laughs> but I am so aware of the fact that I really don't want to move. I'm so tired. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Okay, no, but we That's really, we really, again, we do not condone... Drug Any use of this kind. No. We'll get a meth user on next Don't week to see it. what happens. Don't you can. We'll all try it with them. Don't do opiates. <laughs> Don't right? do anything like that. Don't uh, well, but oh. Buy a horny Don't... builder bear. Sure, that doesn't hurt anyone. Wait, the, I mean, the, the pollution, I suppose. Don't give it to a kid. Why not? What, a horny builder bear? 
It's yeah. harder to explain why. How can you tell the, the bear is horny? Oh, what? Just the dress, the way it dresses. I don't know. I mean, you're it's saying you're telling a kid that they should judge that we based on, on how they dress. Well, I'm yeah. just what saying, kind of lessons are you teaching kids? Ross, you're going to be a terrible father. I'm not. At least he's not Mike. Are you having a snip? He's, I'm having the snip, homemade yeah. snip as well. Oh, I watched um, a gif on how, how the snip works the other day. I've seen that, yeah. Little, yeah. Do, they, do they tie it off or do they just... Yeah, they kind of like they... open the bag a little bit, oh, pop God. out, like pull out the spaghetti, right? Okay. And then they snip it and then they <laughs> clamp one end, right? And then they just yeah. let it go back in. Yeah. So one bit is just like a free dang, an end that's just like off loose because that's not where the production comes from. So they clamp the production end of the tu of the tube. Mm. Stop. So, yeah. <laughs> it, the good thing you is call you it still spaghetti have... off, throw off the bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, just you still have a load. Um, so don't worry about that. Well, anyway, <laughs> it's actually produced in two different places, right? Yeah, this yeah, is something. Yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's where you so, get some of the other stuff. Exactly. The piss is stored in the balls, piss and then the sperm the is produced. If you squeeze them hard enough, you can piss quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Increase the jet stream. Again, Try it at home. Try that. Misinformation. <laughs> it's, it's ah, episode. Yeah, misinformation. It's satire. I All squeeze satire. my balls to piss because I've had film. <laughs> well, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. Actually, they suck all the semen out, then put the balls back in. Thank you. It's so good to have so many doctors in chat. A lot of doctors. Yeah. Anyway, that's not um, wise advice to follow. Um, we aren't doctors, but next week we will we will be. We'll take an online course, become doctors, become doctors, and we will be explaining how you should be living your life. Yes. Yes, we will. Indeed. Oh, he's put misinformation, misinformation alert. alert. That wow, just popped up that. on screen. If you were watching this, a misinformation alert just popped up. There was no audio alert, so if you're listening to this, keep doing <laughs> it. Keep squeezing those balls. Piss fast. Come on, squeeze harder. <laughs> squeeze harder, pussy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, I piss faster than you guys. If you are a doctor, though, um, and you'd like to send us some factual information, or maybe you are just a really funny person that likes scouring the news for funny stuff, and you want to send us some funny news, our email is where to do it. Hatch at hat-films.com. That's also the place where people send their fingles, much like Zach did. Thank you very oh, much, course. Zach, for sending that in. We didn't, we didn't comment on that. We didn't uh, spend who any did time it? talking about the finger. Let's talk about the finger. It was very rocky. Thank you, Zach. Time? Pritchard. I thought uh, about. I, I thought that at the start. I was like, hold on, did we say anything? Zach exactly. Pritchard did that. Um, Thanks, and like it's like it. two minutes thirty, so the ending of this will be okay. the full song. Um, Good. Thank you very much. If anyone would like to send one in, we'll be happy to showcase it on our next podcast. Uh, I've got a few to get through now, which is nice. So just keep listening. Maybe yours will turn up one day. Who knows? It might be years later, like I've done. So years later, Chris Trapp will find that Woo he has been. They used Breaking. it in 2026. Nice, bro. Thanks. It reminded me of Buffy. Yeah, it's got a very 90s rock era yeah, TV series aesthetic. It's nice. Right. On that note, That's I believe we've given enough mental trauma to our audience. We give them a lot of good information. To Is there a summary? Should we summary? The babies in the microwave, the yeah. home... Um, cutting of the of the tubes. The ceremonial to Putin cutting of the tubes. There's a bit of Putin talk. Putin, um, Putin yeah. him in his place. Let my poop off. <laughs> um, yeah. And yeah, well, it's Chris Trot's birthday tomorrow. Let's all in our heads say happy birthday to Chris Trot. If you wear, wherever you are, if you're in a toilet, maybe you're send me your uh, positive a lorry auras or a van. Um, think about Chris Trott's birthday and the fact that he's aging one more year oh. tomorrow. Uh, the day the day you might be listening to time. this, older could be yeah, Chris Trott's birthday. Um, we do YouTube videos as well, by the way. And actually, there is a YouTube video yes. of Chris Trott enjoying his birthday in yes. the most unique way on Hat Films. So go and check that out if you feel ha happy enough. I don't fucking know. Yeah. He doesn't know. Get out of it. I don't know. Get out of here. Go. You should be watching the video by now. Why are you still listening? Stop. What this. about? Uh, other channel as well. Well, Hack Gaming, where we do all of our gaming content. Yes, that's that's where all our gaming content lives on Hat Films Gaming. Is it Hat Films Gaming? Yeah. It is, isn't it? That is yeah. correct. Um, and of course, the Hat Chat YouTube channel is where you can watch this very podcast in action. Indeed. So yeah, links galore. Plenty of plugs there. Um, yeah. And let's plug this Hat Chat up and send it on its merry way so Indeed. thank you for listening to everybody uh have a great week um stay safe 
stay frosty. Don't microwave babies. Don't take mess. Don't. Um, that too. Don't do that. Don't do mess. And we'll uh, see you don't next do week. Don't do home surgery. Don't do home invasions either. Don't give mess to squirrels. Um, mess to don't hate, squirrels don't they do hate, it. They hate it. God, a lot of don'ts today. <sighs> all right, I think we covered it all. Sweet. All right, we'll Sweet. leave you off with Zach Pritchard's wonderful finger, and we'll see you all next week. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Hello. You're currently listening to The Hat Chat Podcast. With your boys, Ross, Al Smithy, and Trotty Boos. And me, your musician, Mr. Z. Shit's about to fucking break down, bitch. Yeah.